Amir, I won't keep you long. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us. Just try and sum up how you're feeling right now. Yeah, I'm very upset, you know. Um, I mean, did all the training that we had to do in camp over in Colorado and then Omaha, Nebraska. Just couldn't get it going, you know. Um, I was falling a little bit short. I mean, look, no disrespect to Kelbrook, I think he put a great performance on. I mean, did everything he needed to do, to do in the fight. Put on a great performance and uh, obviously he was the best man tonight. There were some torrid moments in there and you were hanging on early, but then you seemed to find uh, some rhythm and you were coming back. It just uh, couldn't be sustained. Yeah, just obviously, um, yeah, I mean, just couldn't get going, really. I mean, I was catching Kel with some good shots. Obviously, he was uh, falling a little bit short on a few things as well. I mean, look, it's, um, it's my own fault. I mean, look, not blaming anyone. I had a great, great training camp with Bomack and Terence Crawford and everyone, but just couldn't get going, you know. Um, was falling short, obviously, was missing quite a lot. Um, but look, end of the day, Kel was on his, a, on his A game today. He works really well. A lot of respect goes out to him. And also want to say a big thank you to all the fans. I mean, the fans that came out today, 90% must have been there for me. I mean, when I heard my name cheering, I mean, it, it was amazing. So I just want to say a big thank you. And, and also want to apologise to him that obviously it didn't go our way this today. Just a word on the future. It's your own decision. No one's going to push you for it. I'll give you the opportunity. Um, you'll obviously sit down with your friends and family and your close team. And what do you have any thoughts on the future of where you might go now? Um, 40 fights, I mean, a lot of fights, We're winning two world titles, fighting up and down America and around the world. I mean, I need to sit down with my family, but I think it is more towards the end of my career now here. And um, obviously that love of the sport is not there anymore, like it was before. Um, I could, when I was in the ring, obviously I used to have that, you know, that excitement and that, and that, and that, and that push. But I just didn't have it in me, it felt quite flat. I think that's maybe a sign for me to know that I should be calling it a day, maybe. But let's see. I mean, like I said, I'm going to go back, watch the video. Kel obviously came, came trained. He looked really, really good today and he was ready, you know. Uh, and it's very hard to beat a guy who just wants to win. I mean, I had a great training camp as well, but like I said, he just must have done that bit better than me. So let's see where we go from here. Thank you very much for giving us your time. Thanks to both of you. You both risked a hell of a lot mm. to get in there and meet each other in this massive grudge match. I'm sorry it didn't go your way, but thank you for talking to us. Thank you.